Hey y'all, I'm Elisa, the Scrappy Wife behind ScrappyWife.com, and can you believe I have even more supplies to show you from shopping at the Stamp and Scrapbook Expo? Let's check out this haul, part two. I recently went to the Stamp and Scrapbook Expo at the Dulles Expo Center. Um, it was around the end of April and I'm so excited to share with you some more of the goodies that I brought home. There's just something about shopping in person, getting to see the products in person, getting to see some companies, some small shops that you don't normally get to shop. It was very fun, very exciting. I do have a part one of this haul and I have a vlog of going to visit the Expo. So make sure to check out both of those on my channel. Otherwise, let's dive into all of these new paper products that I picked up. All right, so I really like photo play collections. Some of them are very specifically themed, um, but they're just beautiful papers. They're really well done, and they have just enough supplies for the type of projects that I like to do. So I picked up several uh, photo play, color play collections, and I'm excited to share them with you. So I'm gonna actually um, push these over to the side here, and we're gonna just do some quick flip throughs of what uh, collections I picked up. This one is called Fright night obviously a Halloween theme but it didn't seem like super scary Halloween because I'm not in the super scary Halloween so let's just do a quick flip through of Fright Night by Tracy Smith love the cut apart pages I get a lot of use out of those is that two of the same it is well that's helpful so then you don't have to pick which side you want that's even better love that so fun the candy sheet is super cute in the big bold patterns on the back. I really like that. You got your skulls, but I like the black and white stripe. That's what's cool about these double-sided ones is that if you don't like both, at least you have another option on the back. That's pretty cute too. These are just fun fall colors. I thought they were super cute and I knew I would be able to use them during Halloween time. And then of course, I love that they come with the sticker sheets in photo play. Those are so fun. Ah, so that one was Fright Night by Tracy Smith. I don't think I picked up, oh, I did. I have the ephemera pack that goes with that. I'm not gonna open it up, but you get some basic ephemera that I would be able to use with some Halloween projects. So that was Fright Night. Let's see what else we have. Soccer, of course, I have a little soccer player and we spent a lot of our time on the soccer field. So I thought that this would come in super handy. Um, so here is Soccer MVP by Heidi Rowland. Love the soccer balls. Like, stop it. That's super cute. This one has, I feel like, a little bit more of a gloss to it, which is interesting. Those are fun colors. This is a super cute page. I mean, like I said, this is really specific. You might not need all of these. Like, these soccer pages will last me a long time. But I like getting able to, being able to pick up these collections. And for $6 a piece, like, that's ridiculously affordable. Love, love, love that. So that is the Soccer MVP collection. Then along the same lines, I have two little baseball players this spring, and I knew I would be able to use this one. I liked the vintage feel. This is Play Ball by Becky Fleck, and I also have the paper um, pieces to go with it. So let's check out Play Ball. It's so fun. I like how they do something on the back of the intro page. That's pretty cool. See, isn't that fun? The vintage feel, the sketches. I thought that was pretty darn cool. Love little baseball diamonds. Oh, the cut aparts, yes. Oh, I love this. Look at this flag with the base. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, this one doesn't have a sticker sheet, so that one is a little bit less, but I did get the paper pieces that'll go. So that's going to work out really well for some fun pages for my boys in my memory planner, um, in my regular, there's just a lot of things you can do. This one is called Grad Day by Becky Fleck and I also picked up the paper pieces for this. Um, I had this in mind for a Patreon member that has a son graduate, I actually have several Patreon members that have family members graduating. 
but I thought I'd be able to use this on her custom planner spread. This is fun. And then look at all of these little word fetty pieces. I thought that was super cute. Just some nice, actually, some bold pieces straight out of school. I am graduated. Can I go back to bed now? That's cute. And then I did get paper pieces that go along with that one as well that I'll be able to mix in for that graduation spread. Those are cute. Just some basics. And it's nice to have those. If you're a card maker, if you're a memory keeper, then um, you can have these collections just kind of hanging out. And like I said, they just tend to fit in really well. This one is called uh, The Daily Grind, again, by Becky Fleck. Picked up a lot of her collections. And like a coffee theme collection was not hard to convince me that I would want. This one has a bit of a fall feel to me. Look at all those cups. How stinking cute are those? Oh, I love that. Yeah, when you mix in the dark reds and like browns, I feel like this has fall, even with the florals. They're just fun. Morning has broken, Mr. Coffee has spoken. Listen, before I had my coffee, I didn't know how awesome I was going to be today either. Those are so funny. These are great to make uh, little cards out of too, but I love doing coffee spreads in my planner. So those will come in handy. I picked up a lot of collections from them. All right, this one's called Stars and Stripes. Love Fourth of July themes. Let's see how this works. Okay, start with our cards and cut aparts. This is not glossy this time. Oh. Look at that bandana paper. Love, love these two. Those are fun banners to kind of include. Oh, that's really pretty. Those are gorgeous. Look at all the different soda pops. Again, I like the vintage feel on these. And kind of the like, oh, I love that one. The stars, like the stripes. And this one does, in fact, have stickers. So fun. Definitely a 4th of July celebration feel to this packet. This one was by Michelle Coleman, Photo Play. Very cute. I did not get paper pieces for that. But I did for this next one. I love this one. This one is called Our Friendship Through the Years. Again, it's Michelle Coleman. I loved the color scheme on this with this dark red and teal. Here's the cut apart. It's all about friendship. Now is the perfect time. Enjoy every moment. Love in this. Are you kidding me? Like this sheet? Yes, please. Look at all these cute frames. Oh, and those florals are pretty. I loved this whole set. Looking through it. Look at the, how fun this is. Like graffiti style. And then a beautiful solid on the back. Look at this little collection of girls. One million memories, 10,000 inside jokes, 100 shared secrets, one reason. Best friends. I just knew for the first time in my life I belonged. Gorgeous florals on the back of those. And then look at this. Like, are you kidding me? How cute is that? And then... This gorgeous plaid on the back. I love both sides of this paper. And these are gorgeous as well. Beautiful florals and love these cut aparts. This might be my favorite photo play collection that I picked up. Then you have the stickers. I absolutely love. Look at the timeline. Our timeline of friendship through the years. I like that. And then I did pick up the paper pieces for this one since I loved this collection so much. So cute. All right, so that was Our Friendship Through the Years, Michelle Coleman. Then what else did I pick up over here? This is the DIY Home Edition by Becky Moore. I do have the card stock to go with this one. This one was just fun. I feel like you don't see a lot of DIY pieces, and I just kind of liked the feel. How cute. Fix it, queen. If she can't fix it, no one can. So cute. I like how it's like female things. Oh, you have a Mr. Fix-It, but I like the Fix-It Queen. Like, yeah, go for it. 
nuts and bolts, some blueprints. Look at the tools. So cute. These are fun. And with summer coming up, DIY things happening, this could definitely come in handy. Look at the paint brushes. And I love wood grain paper. And then look at the brick paper too. So stinking cute. Good plaids. And then the measuring tape. Oh, I love that. That's a pretty kind of green gray on the back. And then you have the stickers at the back. I love the long measuring tape. And then the paper pieces, which are always a nice addition to just add in. And with Father's Day coming up, like this is definitely, definitely going to come in handy. Love that. I have a couple more packs from Photo Play. They actually had a bonus. If you purchased a certain amount, you got a free pack. And I think this was my free pack. It's called Super Mom by Becky Fleck. And that seemed like a fun one with Mother's Day coming up. Thank you for giving me life and thank you for not taking it back during my teen years. Trueness. Hashtag mom jeans, cool mom, soccer mom, mom is red. Some gorgeous florals and stripes, stripes and florals. All the chores that moms help do. And I love that yellow. It's a beautiful yellow. Look at those. You're my favorite. Don't tell dad. That's funny. Ain't no hood like motherhood. Those are so cute. I like it. Those are really cute. The polka dots hearts. Black and white hearts. Mommy, mom, 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 mom. Yes, we all can relate to this page, I feel like, if you have kids. So cute. And then the stickers in for free. Like, seriously? Uh, that's pretty awesome. Oh, I love it. All right, and then the last one I picked up from Photo Play is Pot of Gold by Becky Moore. You can see these are fantastic deals, $6.00. We'll get multiple projects out of each of these. I just love them. And this one, again, very specific. Not something I'm going to be re reaching for all the time. But I like having these in my stash. So that I don't have to go hunting at the time of the holiday. Little leprechauns. So it's always nice to just pick them. Oh, I love this cutout. I like how they did the larger cutouts. That is adorable. You have your green beers on that one, pots of gold, and stickers with this one. Those are really cute. I'm super excited, super excited about all of the photo play goodies. And then I discovered a new brand that I don't think I'd seen before. Okay, so one of the fun parts about going to an in-person paper crafting event, um, especially when you can shop, is discovering new things. And I fell head over heels with the brand 49 and Market. And let me show you why. I have a bunch of things from 49 and Market. We're going to kind of go through it. 49 and Market has this kind of vintage feel to it. And what they had were a ton of rub-ons. So if you've never tried a rub-on transfer, these are fantastic. Think like stickers, but that can have a more worn look that are less dimensional. They're fantastic for art journaling. They're fantastic for card making. They're fantastic in your planner. They're just, they're fantastic in a lot of different ways. And so it was the rub-ons that I saw that kind of attracted me to the brand. And then you're going to love some of the colors. So I picked up a few of the essentials. So I picked up the essential text blends. Again, these are all rub-ons. And I just went for a few different colors that I thought I would be able to use in some projects. This gorgeous blue, mariner, plum. This one is eggplant and this one is pewter. I thought those were gorgeous. Again, all rub-ons. And then let's see. Um, picked up a lot of this particular collection. I hope I have all of it right here. I know I don't. Here's some of the paper. Okay. This one was called Plum 
Grove. And I fell in love with the colors. Of course, there is purple. So I was definitely super excited about that. Here's the washi tape. Look, are you kidding me? It has a fabric feel to it. Have you all seen like the fabric washi tape? This is not, I don't believe going to tear like normal washi. You definitely have to cut it. But how gorgeous is that? And as someone that likes the textile, like I like to touch things in my planner. Um, the fact that the fabric is like, it feels fabricy, I think is so cool. So I got the washi tape for this particular set, the florals, this deep plum color in the orange, like this, this purple and orange, that's not a normal co uh, color combo that I would pick up, but I thought they were so pretty, the shades that they chose and then a skinnier floral as well. So I did get the floral, the fabric washi tape that goes with the Plum Grove line. Then let's just, let's start out with the papers because I feel like that will give us an idea of this line. Plum Grove, again, 49 in market, one of my new favorites, I feel like. Um, let's check out what it looks like. Look at these, first of all, that you can fussy cut out. Ador Do you see what I'm talking about with the junk journal feel? I liked, and then like art journaling in the background, it had a lot of just the mix that I was into. Like, are you kidding me? Those are so pretty. This is really nice, thick cardstock. I'm so excited to use these. I think they are gorgeous. The florals at the top, so pretty. I cannot wait. I'm so pumped. It's always nice when you find something that just inspires you, just makes you ready to create. And that's what happened with 49 and Market. So along with the papers, I did pick up two rub on sheets. So this one is color wash, Plum Grove color wash. You get the one 12 by 12 sheet and then you just use this bone folder kind of tool um, to apply these on your page and you cut apart what you want. Love. And then I also got this sheet that has the florals and butterflies with the Plum Grove line as well. Then I also got, I told you, I was super into the rub-ons. So this one has sentiments. Let me open this one. I don't have to open all of them, but let me open this one. This one has six different sheets so that you can kind of see. You have the butterflies and florals, more butterflies and florals, some gorgeous like greenery foliage, beautiful for backgrounds. Again, like those sketched flowers. Are you kidding me? So cute. And then some really pretty sentiments. I love it. So fun. I can't wait to start playing with these. Oh, they're going to be so good. And then, of course, I got um, some paper pieces as well. So these are ephemera bits. I'm not going to open... Let's just open this pack. I won't open all the other packs of ephemera, but we can get an idea. It says it has 86 pieces in it, which is a lot. And what I liked was the different sizes. So it's like small, medium, and large. These are be, would be what I would call medium. Look at all these smalls in here with the word phrases in these moments, all of this business. Love, love these. So good. Like that is so pretty in these big pieces and the color scheme. So let me know, are you, have you heard of this brand before? What do you think? Do you see what I'm talking about with the kind of junk journal vintage feel? I was just all about it. I fell in love, loved it. And so of course I picked up um, several. So I got almost all of that Plum Grove set, like all the pieces I could find. And then I picked up a few other ones. This one is Vintage Artistry Tranquility. So Vintage Artistry, this one was a rub on. Loved these huge pieces. I thought they were gorgeous with that pink and the blue. And then I did get the ephemera bits set for this one. It has these cute like color wheel pieces. Very soft, very springy, which I thought was awesome. Then I picked up some pieces of this set. So for this one, this is Alina. 
Look at those gorgeous greens mixed in. I got the paper pieces for those. You guys know I love me some paper pieces. So gorgeous. And then let's look at the, I got the six by um, eight collection for this one. I didn't think I needed the 12 by 12. But let's just do a quick flip through of these. Looks like you get three of each one. And again, I feel like these would be really great for card making too. Love. So definitely more intricate on the front, more neutral on the back. So you can mix and match and get all three at once. Just a pretty color. Con like, look at those colors together. It's so nice. And it felt different to me. I feel like I've been seeing a lot of the same in different collections. And so it was nice to get some different pieces. Here's a cut apart page. And that's the back. So I love that you got 28 sheets of paper in that pack. So that was really good. That was the um, Alina collection. And then I also bought some of the, let's see, vintage artistry everywhere. So this felt like a travel collection to me. So look at these buildings. This is a rub on transfer sheet. Definitely had a travel feel, which I thought was awesome. And then I got these. So at first I thought this was chipboard, but I don't think it is everywhere. Laser cut elements. I don't think it's chipboard. So let's open it up. Again, I was trying to sample some of the different things that they had. So I would be better prepared to order online. Yeah, this is much thinner. This is kind of like cardstock, but these are all laser precision cut. Look at the doors. That is gorgeous. Oh, I love that. So you have that sheet in there. Oh, I kind of wish I'd picked up more of these. Those are super cute. Oh, I love that. And then here is the back. You can cut apart. This is like a cut apart one. That's cool. Okay. Laser cut elements. That's a neat idea. And then I did get the ephemera. I love ephemera. I love paper ephemera. So I was going to pick this up for sure. Love all the labels in here. This one's very cute. All right. So that was the vintage artistry everywhere. All right, so as you can see, I have quite the haul, a ton of new supplies to try out. I'm so excited to give these rub-ons a chance to try some new things um, in my craft room. And it's always fun to check out new brands, new small stores. I will link stores that I shopped um, down in the description box below. Again, check out part one of this haul because um, it, this is not it. I had a ton of other stuff as well. Um, and check out the full vlog for visiting the Scrapbook Expo. I will link the shops that I shopped down in the description box below because it's always nice to shop small and give those shops a shout out. So make sure to check that out. I do want to give a huge shout out to my Patreon members. Thank you all so so much for being just such a fun crafty community to be a part of. If you want to hop on over and join us in all of our crafty fun, there is a link for my Patreon down in the description box below as well. All right. I hope that you have a fabulous day. And as always, keep it creative.